10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Good luck, studio. Oh, oh it's that time again. Uh, Paul Chandler's going to start this whole thing he does. It's called the Shylock Podcast. It's probably going to start any minute now. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, sit back and relax. All I wanted was a pie, and then I hatched out of an egg. Okay, bring the mic over. He's ready to record. It's the quiet ones you've got to watch, you know. Is it metaphorical? Is it, is it deep? Is it deep? Look at boy. He said all that shy is right. <laughs> Blimey, Governor. It's the Shy Life Podcast. Excellent. Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another episode of the Shy Life Podcast with me, Paul the Shy Yeti. How are you doing? I'm all right. Um, now, what's this episode about? Well, it's about exercise, but it, it's not as simple as just exercise, uh, as you'll see. But uh, um, Toppy Smelly is going to be in the episode, so let's run the theme music. And when we come back, uh, well, well, we'll explain we'll explain what happened. Uh, let's run that theme music. Daddy, it's a shy life podcast. The the shy life. You won't find a cast of characters like this everywhere. Hello, Paul. Uh, I'll, I'll go anyway for a potato. Delicious. Hello, Captain. How are you? You quite like a big fan, don't you, Paul? <laughs> no shy yeti. Oh, I hope he hasn't found out my secret. I he has. If you thought that was bad, just listen to this. Wait, it's the Shy Life Podcast. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm strangely drawn to Yeti Echo John's ankles as well. <laughs> but has the Shy Life Podcast no doubt? I don't think so. It's all green. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Has anyone seen my hot sausage? <laughs> so, listeners, yes, this episode's all about exercise, but it, it started, well, it started with Cromarty, as it happens. Um, Cromarty called up uh, Toppy and, well, have a listen and you'll see. Hello? Uh, hello, it's me, Cromarty. Is that you, Toppy? Yeah, yeah, hi. Hey, hey what, what's going on? Oh, I, I just wanted to ask your advice. Um, uh, it, it's nothing too technical, but uh, I, I, I just wondered if you could help. Oh, I'd be glad to. Uh, whatever I can do. Well, you know, um, you you've been doing a lot of exercise for the whole Boppity Hop race and all that. Oh, um, that, yeah, yeah. Well, you see, the weather, you know, has in the UK, it has become sort of warmer, and we were hoping that Paul would go out more. But I don't know. He's always busy editing and he's studying for his proofreading course, and there's always an excuse. And well. We wondered if you could speak to him, maybe pop over and, and go just go to the gym with him or something. Um, there's a mm. gym down the road that uh, um, X baby goes to. And uh, yes, it, it would be it would just be nice if you could encourage him, you know, tell him all the good things you've learned. Oh, well, you know what? I I do feel like I've, I've learned a few things. And yeah, you know that, Paul, I think you're right. He needs to get out more yes. and uh, do a little more walk. I, yeah, I'd i be glad to help. I, I, yeah, I could Thank I you. could uh, lead Paul down a, a new fitness road for him. Yes, yeah, that would be marvelous. I'll tell him that I've spoken to you and that he should call you and you could sort something out. Okay. Yeah, okay. no problem. Thank you. For, thank you so much. Uh, I, I better go, but I'll speak to you again soon. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, take care. Well, goodbye for now. <laughs> Bye. And so Cromarty did speak to me, listeners, and I did call Toppy back. And, uh, well, this is the conversation we had. Hello. Hello, Toppy. It's me, Paul. How are you? Oh, hey, Paul. Uh, I, uh, apparently I'm supposed to be calling you not that I wouldn't have called you anyway but uh, Cromarty told me that he'd had a conversation with you and that um, you want to help me get more exercise 
yeah, well, he told me, you know, like the weather's getting warmer and stuff like that. And like, you know, you're kind of a busy guy, but Mm -hmm. he thinks, I guess, uh, might be good for you to just get a little more exercise in your life. And he called me because he knows I'm such an expert at it now. Because, you know, I got that boppity hop thing and I'm like, I'm kind of a fitness guru now. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I I must admit, the idea of doing exercise doesn't always fill me with uh, that much uh, joy. But I mean, sometimes I go out and I try and turn exercise into fun by like recording the podcast or taking photos. But um, uh, I, I think, and I have had a little bit of a chat with Cromity about this. I think that I want to see, you know, rather than do that again. And, and if you're coming over specially, I think that we should go and try the local gym, mm-hmm. the, one that, the one that Up goes to. I mean, I'm not usually a gym person. I used to go swimming years ago, but uh, you'd always find the pool was so busy. You, it was pointless being there. But I kind of like to try this new gym. If, if, if it's working for Up, then um, then maybe it'll work for me. And then I can still do walks as well, uh, you know. But I think if you're coming over, we should do something special, a bit more special. Okay. Uh, I, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I agree. Now, listen, Paul, I want to warn you, though, that as a fitness guru that, that I am, I, I take it pretty seriously. Uh-huh. And uh, this business of mixing fun in with exercise, well, I think really exercise should be really hard work and you should just concentrate. You know, that may not be the – but we'll just – We'll just bear down. We'll we'll get you to sweat a little, you know. That's good for you. Mm-hmm. Anyways, all I'm saying is, you know, I, I don't go along with uh, mixing fun with exercising. But, but so I need you I, to be prepared. I need you to be prepared to work can I, hard. Can I at least like take a photo for Insta, um, um, or, or like just record a little bit of of a diary episode and say, oh, I'm at the gym with Toby Smelly. I mean, that 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 doesn't seem like fun to most people, but I mean, like, that can't hurt. Surely, a, a photo on Insta. Oh, if that's what you call fun, that's fine. As long as long as our minds are on the fitness part, Paul, yeah, that's yeah, all sure. I care about. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'll I'll come over and uh, we'll we'll get you started on on, on the road to fitness, Paul. The, the, a couple of weeks down the line, I'll be able to show show my new abs to the, to the listeners. That I'll be you wondering. yeah, you bet. Um, six pack. And uh, no, uh, this is good. This is good. Uh, I I I I would love to impart uh, my intense uh, fitness knowledge to you please do um, just uh, text me a, a time that's good good for you and i'll be there okay uh, all right okay see, see you soon okay uh, bye. bye bye and so listeners that's what exactly what he did he sent me a date and a time and um uh well uh, property was there um when when toppy arrived to encourage us on our way but uh, uh this this uh, next scene is when we were outside the actual um uh, the gym and uh, I, w- I was just getting excited about being on insta and showing everybody my abs not that i'd done anything at that point but you know i was i was enthusiastic well paul i'm glad you're here and so so much uh, thank you to you Toppy for, um, for for helping out like this oh yeah you're welcome that's why I'm here to, to show uh, Paula a whole new way of life yeah I'm looking forward to it I can't wait it's just going to build my insta following so much um, and, and, and uh, people are just going to be like you know putting those flame little flame icons on, on their in the comment section yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's the outside. Well, this looks like a, a, a good gym. Uh, I, I like what I see from the outside anyway. Yes, yes, well, um, it's where Ark goes. I don't think he'll be there today. But uh, yes, Ark with Ick's son. Um, he, 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 he's an interesting character because as he's growing, he's evolving and changing constantly. And at the moment, he's very much into uh, exercise and he's very much into mm-hmm. playing the ukulele at, uh, at, at Toluda's music school. That's just uh-huh. how he is at the moment. I think it's better than uh, reading all those Stephen King novels. I, that, that, that did seem a bit, you know, seemed a bit young for that. So I think exercise and music is, is a good thing. But, uh, um, um, do you think I might become an influencer? Do you think I might become an influencer if people start following my account more? Uh, well, I, I don't know about that. I mean... Uh, sponsorship. Sponsorship, oh, Paul. I, really, 
just listen to what Toppy says. Don't get too carried away with the whole Insta thing. No, no, I'm just saying, you know, it happens to other people. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know about all that, but I, I want your mind on, on the work you got to do, Paul. That's what that's what concerns me. I, I'm, I'm definitely, yes, I'm thinking, thinking of, 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 of my abs and, and, and how, you know, that's how it's going to... You, you, Toppy, I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be rude. But did you decide not to have abs? Did you decide... You, I know you've done a lot of exercise, but did, did you decide to target your, your your fitness to a different area of your body? Well, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, actually, yeah, it's, it's, uh, thanks for noticing. But, yeah, I don't go in for all that ab uh, jive. Now, if you, you know, I don't blame you. If you want to go down that road, that's fine. But I decided uh, to skip the ab thing because that's what everybody does. Ah. And I've worked on my finger strength uh, doing these things with my up and down. And uh, see what uh, I did there with my fingers? Yeah. It was, oh, God. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. It kind of hurt. But anyways, Paul, I got a whole new... We'll, we'll, we'll concentrate on your abs a little. But, uh, you know, I've got a more of a whole rounded uh, exercise plan for you. You'll see. Okay. It's a shame we couldn't get your Uncle John to come with us or uh, uh, Martin or, or Tallulah. But everyone's so busy. Everyone's always so busy. But uh, are you going to join us as well, Comedy? Uh, Paul, I, 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 I have something to do today, but uh, another time, definitely. I, but you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm here to hear all about it later. So, uh, you, you should both go in and get busy. I suppose we should do. Look, our listeners, I think um, now might be a good time for a quiz. Whilst we, we don't want you loitering around whilst we're in the changing room. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to do a quiz now? Well. I mean, we're just going to insert it. Whilst, we're, whilst you and I are in the change room getting ready. Oh, okay. I just I just wanted our minds on the no, workout. No, no, no. Uh, it doesn't workout. involve... No, this will be edited in later, Toppy. Don't worry. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it, it's fine. Um, uh, well, I'll see you both later. Tell us how it went. We, we will. Yes, listeners. Listen All to right. Yeah, and then when we come back, we'll be in the gym. Yeah. All right. Thumb, thumbs up, Cromedy. I got us back. We're, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, my I wish you well. Eccentric artist, real name is Stif- Stephanie Duran. I say Weird Al Yankovic, but I, I don't know. You don't know who Stephanie Duran, um, German artist, is, German noter. It's Lady Gaga. Oh, really? That's me answering before I, I get the answer. It is, it is Lady Gaga. I know, well, I know, yeah, I know that. But then I know that's why she called one of her albums Duran. I didn't realise that Lady Gaga was not her real name. We know this one. Question two. Marshall Mathers III is an American rap artist, but what is his stage name? Slim Shady. Is that his stage name? Or is that another one of his? <laughs> is it Eminem? Is probably the answer on the card. Eminem is the answer on the card. Um, which rapper married TV star Kim Kardashian? I do know. Do know. Was Kanye West. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't think I know this one. Um, unless you might remember, because they might have had a hit together. Which rapper was Will Smith's sidekick in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I'm trying to think. Is, is that one of his Jazzy songs? Jeff. Yeah. It is DJ Jazzy Jeff. Question five: Which once Catholic, which once Catholic Irish singer songwriter? 
changed her religion to Muslim in 2018. That's Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Question six. Which country star is the famous father of Miley Cyrus? Billy Ray Cyrus. Surely. Surely. And it is. And this, you know this one. Farouk Bolsara is the real name of which iconic rock Eddie, Mer- Eddie Mercury. <laughs> Eddie Mercury. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think it's almost too easy. Question eight. What is Alicia Beth Moore's colourful stage name? Pink. Yeah. Did you know that? Or was it the colourful stage name thing that gave you away? I think, uh, yeah, I, did, I, did, I wouldn't have known it if I yeah, didn't give me that clue. I think I did know that, aside from the fact that the question always gave you one. Um, yes, it's pink. Question nine. Which Broadway singer is the famous daughter of singer-actress Julie Garland? That's good for you. Liza Minnelli, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Liza Minnelli. I had a blank there for a moment, but I didn't have to know. Um, what is the name of Enrique Iglesias' famous father? That's the other Julio. 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 Oh, that was the other way around. Which son of Julio Iglesias? Julio. I think Julio Iglesias is probably more famous than Enrique, or, or, or maybe they're equal. But, yeah. 11. Which sibling duo fronted the 90s band Oasis? The Gallagher brothers. Yeah. Liam and Noel. Question 12. Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, Jackie and Michael were members the of... Jackson the, Jackson yeah. the Jackson 5. The um, Jackson 5. Question 13. Which singer has the most UK number one singles ever? Oh, that's slightly harder. B. Paul McCartney. Account if he was in a band for some of them. Uh, it's not um, Cliff Richard. <laughs> could be right. It's both Cliff Richard. Oh, it's Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Well, that's the first thought was Elvis Presley. Yeah, I'm but so then I'm sure, if it wasn't inferring a UK a UK act. Also, when we when we've done episodes about the 1950s, and I, I don't think some of some of, Elvis, ones, some of Elvis's or... songs. Didn't do as well over here as it is, and, and vice versa, but so it's all confusing. This is another easy one. Um, what name is Reginald Kenneth Dwight better known by? Alton John. Alton John. Uh, we've got... We haven't had any uh, Be- Beatles yet, have we? No, 13 out of 14 so far. Question 15. Dave Grohl was the drummer in which rock band? Nirvana. No, Nirvana. Nirvana. That's what name. What is the real name of Spice Girl, Ginger Spice. Well, if we're going for what she was called... Or Jerry Halliwell. Jerry Halliwell. I know she's about 500 different names since then, but Jerry Halliwell is the one... Yes, it's gone with Jerry Halliwell. Um, which iconic female singer had film roles in Mermaids and The Witches of Eastwick? That's Cher. Cher. Yeah. What is the name of the Australian sisters Kylie and Danny? I know. Rolled my eyes for that one. <laughs> um, which Welsh singer is known for singing the controversial song Delilah? You, you, you Tom, Jones. Tom Jones. Um, which American country singer sang the iconic song Stand By Your Man? Do- Dolly Parton. That's right. Isn't it? Um, uh, was that okay. Sammy Wynette? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, yes, I, 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 I put out her name wrong. It's Tammy Wynette. Oh, I thought it was Dolly Parton. I should have got Tammy Wynette. That's that. That was lazy. I got it. <laughs> you got it. I'll just delete myself out. Um, question twenty-one: Who is the lead singer of Black Sabbath? That Os- um, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Which actor duetted with Lady Gaga on the song "Shallow"? That's the one that was from "A Star Is Born." <laughs> I've forgotten his name. Um, I know it when I see it, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I do know who he is, but I haven't thought about him since I saw that film. So you, you've no, you've no clue. No, anything. She did Bond with Elton John, didn't she? It wasn't that one? No, no. Uh, Bradley Cooper. Yeah. I couldn't even think of any other films that Bradley Cooper was in to give you a hint. Um, who was the first British act to win Eurovision Song Contest? Oh, 
with the song Puppet on a String. That's Sandy Shaw. Sandy Shaw. Um, it'd be much easier. They could just say it'd be harder if they said he was the first British act to win Eurovision. To, to win Eurovision, but uh, um, which American rapper had film roles in Friday and Twenty One Jump Street? Um, was it Ice T? No, close though. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Um, who was the second lead singer of progressive rock band Genesis? So Collins. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Toppy, I'm just just posing by this uh, this, this, this weights machine thing. I'm going to do a sort of surprise look. <laughs> All right, take get your selfies over with. Go ahead. Uh, oh. oh, brother. Yeah, I'll do some more later. I need to get some actual sweat. Um, right. Real sweat, I suppose. So what are we doing? What are, how are we starting? What are we starting to do? Okay, <clears throat> uh, we're going to start first with just a warm-up, because that's important, Paul. You can't just jump into exercise because you're going to risk injuries. What you got to do is you got to warm up a little. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to put your extend your arms out, uh, just just like, just mirror me, yep. uh, extend your arms out so like you're a T, or like you're, you know, you're sort of like a pear with a, a cross. Anyway, uh, and um, what we're, we're just going to keep our arms up and we're just going to twist. See how I'm twisting that way? Then twist to your left. Twist to your right. Yeah. And twist your... Oh. Oh, Oof. oh I'm sorry. I, I kept my arms up too long. How are you doing? I'm fine. Just sorry. You, you haven't even put your arms up, Paul. I just, I'm just taking another f- selfie. Hey. Yeah, you got to put Hi. that camera down. Well, no, sorry. No, I just... It's all it's all an investment, Toppy. It's an investment. Oh. Exercise is an investment. Oh. What what are we doing now? Well, I haven't seen you put your arms up. Oh sorry, here, here we go. Put the camera down. Put your oh, phone all right. down. Put all it right. in I'll your just, pocket. I'm putting it down. All right. Right now. Oh, just, yeah. you keep your arms up. I'm gonna count to ten. See if I can keep them up for ten uh counts. One. One. Two. Two. Okay, you put your arms down, Paul. Is that oh, really all sorry. you can do? No, I got confused. I got confused. Do it again. Let's do it again. All right. One. One. Put them up. Uh, yeah. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Oh, God. Now your phone's ringing. Um, uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I just, let me just take this. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, 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 hello. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's Uncle John. Ah. Uh, Oh, shame you couldn't join us. Oh, geez, don't invite him. Don't invite him. What? Oh, is that Toppy there? I can't believe it. Don't tell him I'm here. No, you're at the gym. I know you're both at the gym. I wish I could be here, but I'm busy. Uh, how's it going? Oh, it's fine, yes, Uncle John. Yeah. Oh, he's, been, he's been working me like, a, I don't know, a thing that needs working. But uh, uh, have you been doing the Insta thing I told you about? Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I've definitely been doing the Insta thing, yes. I um, I think I've got... 12 new followers. 12! Blimey. You're doing well, Paul. Thanks. Um, did, do, you want, do you want to speak to Toppy? Oh, I suppose I must. I mean, I suppose I will, yes. Toppy, I'm hello. Not here. I'm not that. Oh, hi. Yeah, the Uncle John. Yeah. <laughs> is, that you, is that what you're wearing in the gym? Is that, yeah. I've never seen you in a vest top before. Well, um, oh, it suits you. Sort of. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's my j- You should see me in my jumper. Anyways... Uh, Paul, uh, of course, um, is, is just spent a tons of money on the latest gym wear. I told him not to do that. But anyways, so you're, uh, I, I just want to say, just confidentially, yeah, Uncle John, uh, I appreciate it if you would encourage Paul less to um, Instagram, okay? Oh, no. He's got a media presence, so. Okay, fine. Uh, but I'm more about the work. 
uh, Yeti and John. Ooh, and I, I need you to understand that because you're not here. I'm here. No. So you don't know, but I know. Well, uh, well. He could barely keep his arms up for two minutes. Well, and yeah, the editing he does, it's very tiring. But uh, surprisingly, he hasn't got abs on his arms. Okay, Paul, Paul, uh, uh, yeah. at least at least stay standing up while I'm talking on your phone. Don't sit down. Get up, get up, get up. Right, sorry, I'm standing. Okay, see, Ian Uncle John, you see how? Anyways, uh, I'm really busy now. I gotta coach right. Paul. I'll let you go. Sorry, All I'm right. just, just seeing how you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Uncle John. Okay, put the, the phone. Are we gonna have can a you, break? Can you turn that oh, thing off? Can you when turn are we having the... a, are we having a break? When are we having a break? A break? We just started. <sighs> sorry. Oh my it's god. Quite... It's really quite busy in here, isn't it? Like all the yes. other people doing that. Yes. I guess it's quite inspiring seeing them doing it. Yes, it is. I mean, you should... Now, do you see these people, how they're working out, sweating? And you see the expressions on their face? They're not happy. They're in pain. You know why? Because pain is gain, Paul. Mm, yes. Yeah. 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 It's quite... Yeah. I'm having a... Just watching... No, well, you got to do more than one. Would you please not sit down? Stand up. At least stand. I think I, met him. I, think I know that guy. And it was, sorry, all right, what do you want me to do now? I want you to stand up. Stop oh. sitting down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, now okay. stop paying. Stop looking at everybody. All right, all right, all right. Now, do you really need a break? No, no, keep going. Um, all right, uh, Paul, what I want you to do next, see is um, we're going to do a little jogging. Now, we're not actually going to jog around. We're going to jog in place, okay? Okay. All right, you know what that means? You, you got to see how I'm moving my arms up and down yes. and see how my knees are coming up and down. Mm-hmm. Now, we well, don't need to do it fast, but I want you to mi- mirror my movements now. Up and down, feet up and down. Okay, why are you sitting down, Paul? I thought I could just do the jogging while sitting down. No, well, you got to... The whole idea is just, this is a weight bearing. Anyway, please stand, please. I think no, I think I think I do need a break now. I just need to do uh, need to do something. I'm just just, just you, you have a break too. Okay, because I am a little out of breath. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to do a quick um, message to okay. my Insta fans. Hi, Insta fans. It's me, Paul the Shy Yeti. Oh. I'm down at I'm down at the gym today uh, with Toppy Smelly. Say hi, Toppy. Get down. And, uh, hi, hi, everyone. And um, anyway, uh, gosh. He's been working me really hard, and uh, I've never felt so healthy. But my abs are coming along nicely. Oh, so uh, I, uh, I just encourage you all to get out there and get some exercise, and you'll feel so much better. Okay. That's um, good, good I'll, I'll, Everyone I'll exercise. Be- yeah. I'd better go now. So, um, uh, but anyway, great to see you. Uh, this, is, this, is Paul, this is Paul's fitness <laughs> guru signing up. Love you. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was good. I think that was good. Is that really what people do on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, right. People do a lot more. Some people show a lot more. I'm not quite that stage yet. But uh, did did you show a lot of me in that video? I think. You were in the background, yeah. The background? Okay. Oh, I mean, if you want to be in the front, we can do another one. But Well, I mean, we don't have to, but no, no, no. Well, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do you, do you want to be doing... Right. Hi, hi. Um, it's Hello, Anne. it's Paul. I mean, it's Paul's fitness guru, me, Tappy Smelly, here at Ux Gym, the place where you can sweat it and forget it. Huh? Yeah. So, anyway. Toppy's right. My guru. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, focus well, actually, on well, actually, uh, up gym, which is where our friend Art goes. I think it's Kapow Gym. It's the same people who own Kapow Taxi. Oh, whatever. Okay. Anyways, the important thing is that I'm here to get Paul fit. As you can see, lift up your shirt, Paul. As you can see, there's an absence of abs here. Abs. We, abs. And if you know, if you if you look at me. Obviously, I have a figure. Well, okay, I don't have abs either, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm that uh, Paul wants abs. I'm going to give him abs because he's going to do hard work. He's going to sweat. Anyways, uh, it's me, Toppy Smelly, Paul's guru, uh, exercise guy, uh, signing off. Make it work. Yeah. Okay. W e r k. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, um, post, I'll post them later. <laughs> All right. No, post it now. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. You, can you post it now? I want to yeah, see. Uh, I want to well, see it on my phone. Once I'll, you post I'll, that, I'll, I'll get it. I'll post it. I'll post it. Okay. 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 Toppy, I'm just just 
noticed something. What? Have you noticed it too? Aye, 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 aye. All, all, no, not us, but the other people in the gym. Yes, they're all sweaty. What? Yeah, the, have you noticed the walls down the end of the gym are all covered in mirrors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's some, normal. Of them, some of them are posing and you can see their reflections, but some of them don't have reflections. Uh, wait a minute. Are you, are you, are you high? What? Oh. Uh, uh, I'm uh, sure it's a trick of the light, but yeah, that guy doesn't have a reflection and neither does uh, that lady. Poppy, it must be, they must be people who are in the yoga, the yoga vampire group, or at least from the same or another vampire group I... oh lordy mclord yeah. lord paul I... we're supposed to be exercising and we're gonna bring in the yoga vampires well i don't know i don't i can't help that they're here <sighs> i'm just worried about ick i mean up being here yeah i'm worried that, of ick as well but what, what can we do I, I, I don't know. Let them be and be non-reflective. Is there, do we need to do anything, Paul? Could be. They could be recruiting. Oh, look. Well, um, I, uh, I ain't into that. I, I'm not. Look, uh, listen. Uh, Toppy and I can have a word with this. Toppy and I will discuss this whilst we're exercising. Um, but I think it's probably a good time to put a um, a Sutton Park clip up. Um, I know that's kind of one sort of you know, things are stressful enough here and go to Southern Park and that could be stressful but well anyway oh, stress, that stress. cat that cat Dealey, doesn't have a reflection why Dealey, why have you come to the gym <laughs> oh dear um yeah. a, anyway um right listen yes have a listen to this clip and when we come back Toppy and I would have worked out how to deal with the whole situation oh yeah okay You see, Zanzibar, we can help one another. You need, you need to uh, turn the puppets to your side. You need the puppets to follow you. You are doing reasonably well, but I could help recruit. For you see, I have a future, a vision, which may possibly even involve you. I, Zanzibar, have changed my mind. It involves Basil, and it involves you. Let me explain. Come on, you lads. We definitely heard his voice. He can't be far away. Basil! I mean, that was definitely him. Paul. Paul, it's me, John. Paul! <sighs> Basil, is that you calling? I need your help. You're the only one who can help me. You've got to tell me what I've got to do. My memories, everything's falling apart. I can't. You've got... I don't... Where did you go to? What's... Where did... Basil? Oh, that's... John. There, there he is. It is definitely him. He does not look well. Come, you... Come on. Hampton, come. Well, I mean, no, he doesn't. He doesn't look well at all. Goodness, what was he shouting? Basil? Oh, I feared something awful was going on. I never believed he was dead. I thought we saw... Oh, I was never sure. Oh, dear. Things just go from bad to worse. Oh, he's pulling out very well. Come on. Oh, come on, Noe. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. Poor Paul. Paul, are you alright? John? Is that you? Are you the one they c called John? I can't remember. Uh, are you Jay? What? What's wrong with you, Paul? My memory is going right to pieces. Paul, just stay there. How oh. oh, are you? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't stop. I've got to get away. He said this was happen. I didn't think it was going to. I thought it was going to be fine. My memory. He said they was doing something to my memory. Taking bits out and putting it back here. I, I, I remember you, but I don't remember you. I only remember you because I know I should. I know I must. He's done something to my memory. He's returned the memories that, that he'd taken. And he's, put, and he's put them back again. But he's taken the ones that I've had since. Since I've met you. Wow, I remember... No, Jay, I remember Jay, I remember... 
You, I am with you. Oh God, oh God. Arf, arf, that bastard. Arf, that bastard Basil. This is what he's done to you. Well, then he's buggered off and left you. Was he here? Was he with you? Yeah, he didn't die when we saw. He's still around. I found him again. I keep seeing strange things, John. Listen, don't worry, we'll get you sorted out. We'll get you home. Come on, lads, he's over here. Don't worry about it. There's nothing new for Basil to turn up and visit disappear. This time he's got to account for himself. Whatever he's done. Whether he's... He's messed it up. He, he said... He said something like this might happen. He, he said it would change things. But I didn't think... I would... I think... John... Oh God... I shouldn't be like this. It's like a nervous... It's like a nervous breakdown. He's like, I don't know what to do. This shouldn't be happening to me. I shouldn't be like this. Oh, how is he? Is he, is he okay? Or no. No, he's not. It's that bloody buzzer. He's mucked things up. Oh. Revolt again. Is this buzzer responsible? It is, it is buzzer. I found them all for all of this. Oh, come on. Come on home, boys. Oh, that even controlled his fault. Oh, come on. Shouldn't have been like this. Why has he done this to me? He says he's my friend. He says it was for my own good. He says they thought I was guilty. And now they know that I'm not. They're returning me. They're helping. But it's not... Oh. Well, the thing that's the thing that's perfectly clear to me, Paul, is that whatever he says, if he was lying or if he was telling the truth, let's just say he made the truth. He's telling all the truth. Well, he's made a very muck, wouldn't he? He says that he's returning your memories. He's, he's scrambled your brains. He can't take one away and change one round. If he was returning your memory, he took it in the first place. If he was returning it, he sort of... He, you can't just take away... He's not helped you at all. He's given what, taken one away and given one back. I mean, he's mucked up. He's got to account for this. We've got to find him. Basil, we got to find him. He's got to explain himself. Look what he's done to Paul. He's got to explain himself. Hmm. Oh. Now, you see, a number of things have changed. I know what you need. And I may be quite prepared to use you in the future. I no longer wish the series Sutton Park to end. I have decided it could be, it could make me a good well, deal, deal of money in a different format. The format as it remains is uh, one that I do not wish to use. The Basil is the main opposition. He is changing things, moving things his own way. I am the controller of beaches. The direction of the series should be mine. So, what I want done is the destruction of Basil. I thought we'd almost managed it, and then... No. It was my recent uh, return to form, as it were, with uh, Mr. Williamson, with the horse racing. I have once again made money on that. We have been successful. Yes. <laughs> Getting me to Katrina helped with that. You, you know about all this, yes? Yes. But as I say, things are starting to go my way again. And I would imagine it would be slightly stupid and irresponsible to totally demolish the program. I could change it. Make it the way I want it to be. Make money once again. And you, you Zanzibar, and your band of merry men, <laughs> forgive the uh, disrespect, but... Uh, if you get uh, all the puppets on your side, if you are the ruler of them, now that Katrina has gone, and Balgard is, uh, was once this, but uh, of course he's uh, too weak now, <coughs> neither does he want to be. Although he could have ruled them uh, as a benign force, but uh, anyway, if you can get those troublemakers on your side, then I would be willing 
to make you the star of the show. Well, if you know what I mean, I would be willing to devise a series around you. Yes, you could do what you like. You would be millionaires. Yes, I have had interest being shown from uh, Ingle Book Television. Now, at the moment, Basil has a, a great share in this. Basil has a great share in Ingle Book, but they are they are concerned about his uh, leaving the uh, 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 and his uh, much time spent uh, uh, over at beaches. Um, what I would like to suggest is that uh, well, Ingle Book and Beaches join forces without Basil, without uh, a number of the regular cast. We no longer want to require Paul, of course. I see you... Uh, I see you like the idea. Am I right? Hmm. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you see the viability in the, uh, in the prospect. <laughs> yes. The problem being that as he stands in this world, in the world of beaches, Basil is far too strong a force. What I must do is uh, basically encourage Inglebrook Television that Basil cannot be relied upon, that they do not no longer need him. Until he is destroyed, I do not believe he would allow Paul to be destroyed. No matter how I try to destroy either of them, they seem to protect each other. No matter how bad their relationship together seems to be, Paul can never trust Basil, and yet in times of need he is always there. We need to take one out, take the other. But we cannot take Paul without... <laughs> before taking... but we, we must... This battle that we need to aim for. This is a difficult prospect. But I see that uh, you agree with the opinion that uh, the series could be continued in a different style. And I can see that your support can be guaranteed. Which is what I wanted to hear. I am glad that our initial talks have gone so well. Well, after all, it's been quite a while since uh, the puppet force first uh, appeared in the series. They have been a large force in the series the past few years. It would not be such a jump to uh, ditch humanoid characters and, and go solely to uh, one such as yourself. I am quite certain that this uh, change in tact would be a lot more profitable. For so long now, I have uh, wished to dismiss the series, to, to axe it, to get rid of it, to start again afresh. I think it would be beneficial for all of us if uh, what I could, if I could just simply uh, adapt the series into what uh, I wish it to be, take control again, as it were. Hmm. Yes. Things are changing, Zanzibar. You have a respect I appreciate. We shall work together. You shall get what you want, and I shall get what I want. The future is rosy. Out with the old, in with the new, Zanzibar. Yes, you shall be the star. The series, Sutton Park. It shall be your series. <laughs> no longer a tale of good versus evil was an everyday story of evil folk. A tale of evil versus evil. <laughs>
Yes, G. Paul, I thought that was all lore. Does garlic really work? Yeah, yeah, apparently so. I mean, a lot of the things about vampires. Yeah. Sorry, B word. Um, could not say vampire. Yeah. What should we say? Um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 let's just call them Bellas. Bella, Bella Lugosi's. Oh, yeah, yeah. They okay. call them um, Bellas. The thing, the thing with that is they don't, um, a lot of the stuff that you hear about them isn't true or they've evolved on like yeah. the whole about them being out in the daylight that, that's that's kind of irrelevant these days yeah. but because uh, they garlic, sparkle they yeah. do, do they sparkle? a little bit but, yeah, but they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, uh, they don't go up into flames um, okay. but, but garlic still works because um, we, we have well it's a long story but we've had yeah garlic it, works well, well, what are we going to do with this garlic? we're just going to throw it at him or what? no 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 we'll stick it in the air vents and uh, stick it in the air vents? Yeah, oh. and, and but then because there's like a um, a fan, it'll it'll grind up grind up the the uh, garlic, and then the fumes will come out, and it'll all be oh. and, uh, they'll go. So. This sounds crazy, but I I guess what where are we gonna do this? I, we should probably do this uh, discreetly, don't you think? Yeah, you, you take this bag. And oh, I'll okay. Take and, and, Wait a minute! Then, you should be carrying all this weight. It's, it'd be good for you. You take them back. You carry. <laughs> But you need to put some in the air vents as well. Oh, oh all right. Okay, give it to me back. Jeez. And, okay. and li- li- listeners, we, we've got some music, specially composed. It's like imagine a montage of, of Toppy and I putting garlic into some ventilator shafts, and, and this is the music that will serenade that. Okay. You have to use your imagination because. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. This is nuts. Go ahead. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's do it. Okay. Hello listeners, it is me, Cuthbert. I am just here to bring you a brief intermission whilst Paul and Top D plug the air vents of a gym with garlic. Here we present a brief segment from episode 570 of a smellcast, which concerns the Bobbity Hop race in Pickle Hollow, which Top D recently took part in. It was preparing for this merry race, which turned Top D into the fine athlete that he is to this merry day. Once you have heard some of these clips, you should go back and download the full episode. It's episode 570, remember, okay? Thank you. Following these scenes, we return to Paul and Top D back at the gym. Enjoy exclamation. Boy, folks, this is the big one. No, really, this may be the biggest, most important episode of the Smellcast ever. <laughs> Especially as far as I'm concerned, that's yeah. for sure. Right, Dolores? <laughs> you betcha. Okay, so as most of yeah. you know, this episode is all about the big poppity hop race of 2022. Anyways, it's it's only the story we've been going after uh, ever since, uh, you know, a year ago. Anyway, tonight it's going to finally play out today, and you're here. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, come right in. Oh, sit yourself down, put your feet up, make yourself feel comfortable. Always nice when you come by for a visit, especially for a day like today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, things are far from perfect, folks. For example, my Aunt Tappy isn't here because... Well, it's a long story. You'll have to have listened to past episodes to understand why. It's a whole thing. And, uh, by the way, one of the most exciting things that's happening is that today, uh, my friends over at the Shy Life Podcast are coming over here via X spaceship to join in and cheer me on. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, Paul Chandler, Ick, uh, Bettina Dupre. Oh, they're all coming over. They'll be here shortly, I hope. Very exciting. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the moment, we're just minutes away, really, from the start of the race. And I'm just trying to get my boppity hop to the right air pressure with my little bicycle pump. The thing I really want to say is how excited I am with the crowd that's turned out today for the race. I mean, it's amazing. And by the way, the weather report has turned true. I don't mind telling you, yesterday I was a little afraid with that powerful rainstorm that swept through. <laughs> but today... Uh, it's beautiful, sunny, yeah. blue skies. A perfect day for a race. Sure is. <laughs> Can you hear that crowd? They're yeah. so excited. Oh, boy. I just can't tell you, folks. It really is an exciting day. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Paul. Hey, Toppy. Hey, yeah. Good to see you. Oh, Bettina, hi. <laughs> Hello, Toppy. So good to see you on this exciting day. Oh, Bettina, I'm so glad you could be here. Well, uh, hello, Toppy. Oh, hey, yeah, the Uncle John. <laughs> Heck, you old space dog. <laughs> Thanks for bringing everybody. Oh, I didn't mind at all. Going from London to Pickle is a snap as you are, things. So. Oh, well, thank you anyway. <laughs> Oh, Charlie, girl, look at you. Thanks for coming. Uh, oh, yes. So glad you're here. Toppy. Uh, Sniffy Martin, thanks for coming. Oh, toppy, Toppy. <laughs> Gravity. Oh, my. August 7th. Oh, Toppy. Thanks for coming. Are you all ready for your race? <laughs> well, Paul, that's a good question. A good. I guess I am. I, I guess I'm as prepared as I can ever be. Oh, wonderful. We're all very excited for you. Best of luck. Uh, thank you, Paul. You'll never know how much it means that you're here and that you brought everyone with you. We can I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get out there and win. Uh, thank you, Paul. Paul told me there would be food. Oh, yes. Any pies? Oh, uh, no. No? No pies. Well, what a waste of my time. Uh, we got burritos. Burritos, Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, burritos. Well, sounds foreign, but I'll give it a try. Uh, no, they're good. My first time in Pickle Hollow. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome to you. Such unusual smells you have around here. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, sure. <laughs> well, where's your boppity hop? Oh, this is it. Right here, by my side. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I'd love to smell it. No. <laughs> Well, uh, Sniffy Martin, I know how you love to smell, so uh, have at it. <laughs> I, I especially wouldn't mind sniffing exactly where you sit down on it, if you please. <laughs> okay, well, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Joy, well, happy racing. And after the race, if you don't mind... <laughs> no, what, what, what? I will sniff the bobbity ball thing again as soon as you get off it. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Boy, okay. You got it, Sniffy Martin. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I will arrange that just for you. Thank you. <laughs> Bleed. Heck, look at you. It looks like you've lost all of that weight you put on during your pregnancy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. are you sure you don't want me to just zip you and your funny big ball over to that red barn thing in my spaceship that I could just zip you back here to the finish line? Oh. <laughs> big win. Well, it, I mean, it would be, uh, but, but you're missing missing the whole point of this race. It's all about competition and uh, it's very important to our human species to sometimes test our athletic prowess against each other. <laughs> On my planet, we gave up the concept of competition aeons ago. Such a dreadful waste of time. Oh, oh uh, well, then there's uh, that too. Uh, you're probably uh, right about that. Pickup truck. Hey, hey. Your 
property hunt must be in your possession at all times. If it should ever leave your hands, you are disqualified. The only other rule is that you must bump, hop, jump, roll, or otherwise get to Shecky Green's Red Barn. You must circle Shecky Green's Red Barn before returning back to the finish line. If we do not see you there, you will be disqualified. The path you take to and from is of no consequence, but you must circle Shecky Green's Red Barn. Upon circling Shecky Green's Barn, you will make your way back here to the finish line. Bobbity Hoppers, prepare yourselves for the race. I will now relinquish the megaphone to Shecky Green, who will start the race officially while I take my place down in uh, the, at the start line. Okay, here we go, here we go, Shecky. Thank you, John B. Smelly. Well, I've still got hold of my boppity hop. I'm still in the race. Come on, Toppy. Come on. We can do it. Get back on the old wagon. Uh, the horse. Okay. Bounce. Bounce. Come on, Toppy. Bounce. Bounce. Oh, my God. Do you see that, honey? What? Tuppy's already behind it. He's barely even gotten out of the gate. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, my God. There's no way he's going to win this. He's already the last person. Yeah. Oh. Like I predicted. Fail. 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 Oh, my God. That's a disaster. Uh, Such a disappointment. Oh, Cricket, honey, I can't watch the rest of this. I understand. I'm going to keep my eyes okay, closed. Okay, baby. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Oh boy. Calm down, sassy. Uh, she. Mm, lipstick. <laughs> oh, here they go. Chase Bartholomew from the university is leading. Smelly has quickly fallen into last place. No surprise there. Well, honey, Toppy's in last place. That it more or less is what I expected. Look, August is setting up his supplies. Yeah, I told August he should set up his easel right next to our burrito stand and paint. Hey, looks like you're all ready to go, August. What colour is victory? That's a good question. Well, I said it's victory, but really? that would be silly. Yeah. Okay, what, what colour is defeat? That's probably more accurate. Yes. Defeat. Yeah. Deep, dark defeat. Yeah. Very bad. <laughs> Unfortunately. How should I paint that? Blues and blacks, I think. I think yes. so. Let's go. Oh my, that is dramatic, yes. That's a great start. And when you finish, we'll put it up in Jose's Hideaway restaurant for everyone to sign. To commemorate this event. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Oh, now that. What's that? Oh, now that was a bold stroke. Yeah, great start, August. Walter, I need you back here. We're selling burritos, remember? Okay, August, you keep pine time. Yes. I've got to go back and sell burritos. <laughs> Hello again, listeners. We hope you enjoyed that little preview of a Smellcast Poppity Hop race. Do please check out the full episode. Paul and Toppy have now finished placing the garlic in the air vents at the gym, so now we will return to see whether or not this has had any effect on the vampire's exclamation. <sighs> Toppy, have you done it? I, I, put all, I think there's enough garlic. TV, come here. Was that? I can't believe that you came to the gym. Very good. You're a very old cat. Come here. Very old cat. Yes, you are. 
Yes, well, we don't. We, look, we're going to have to leave. So, Toppy, have you put all the garlic in the ventilation shafts? I did, but was I supposed to peel the, the, no, the no, skids no, the, off? No, 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 it'll be fine. The, the, the actual spinny things will do that. Okay, because I didn't do that. By the way, my hands, my fingers, ugh, smell like garlic. Oh, oh, oh no, don't worry about that. <laughs> Look, we, oh. come on, Deals, we have to go now. We have to go, we have to go. Before, we, we, we can walk back to the flat, and that, that can be the end of our exercise. And uh, uh, and, and Deals, will, Deals will run ahead because we're so... Uh, it's so athletic. Um, oh, deals, I know. Paul's still fat. It's because we've just started. You can't, you can't expect him to lose all that weight in one day. Don't you worry. Okay, so come on, let's uh, let, let let let's get home and uh, um and and, and 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 who knows? Um, gosh, I, I hope this plan will work. And uh, I hope so because I'm really smelling the garlic. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Um, listeners, I think it might be time for another quiz whilst we travel home. Um, yes. Okay. is round two it's called name that song so i'm never that good at lyrics but we'll give it a go um first one is this the real life or is this just fantasy well, that's that's fantasy yes it's Re- bohemian rap absolutely yes. bohemian rhapsody by queen uh the next one is it was christmas eve babe in the drunk tank that's um Fairy Tale of, of New York. New York by um, Ghost of McCall and the Pogues. Cole and the Pogues. We have to say, oh, just as the Pogues. It's not just the Pogues. Um, next one is Let's Go Girls. That could be almost any. Hmm. Let's go, girls. I wonder if this Express Yourself by Madonna. Because she kind of says, you know, she kind of does say that bit at the start. Should we go for that? Yeah, possible? go for that. Oh, uh, no, it's not. I should have known it. It's Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Let's go, girls. Question four. Coming out of my cage, and I've been doing just fine. That's Mr. Brightside. Yeah, um, by the killers. Yeah. One of my most hated songs. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's so hated. It's no... Nowhere near as bad as um, uh, the living years. It's just it's mm. not my least favourite killer song. I just it annoys me that it's so popular um, when it's not their best song. Um, question five. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. It's probably not a song. Well, that's obviously... Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Of course it is. Yeah, is that a modern one? I don't know. I thought that might be an old one to mix a lot. But, um, this is question six. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Sounds kind Don't of stop crazy. believing. Because uh, what by? Journey. Journey. Don't stop believing by Journey. Well done. Um, Next one, what you want, baby? I got it. That's not. I'm just thinking that's that song. I got it, or you got it. But, uh, I got baby, it. I got it. I an opening oh, line. Not like Justin Timberlake. Or yeah, I don't know. I can't can... take you back. Or um, oh dear, it's not even a, a modern song, but it's one. It's respect by Aretha Franklin. I'm just thinking it was something like. Oh, yes, PCT. Oh, this one we should get. Um, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> That's hello, sound, darkness. sound of silence by Simon Garfunkel. Yep. Yes. Question nine. At first, I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> uh, uh, there's, there's a copy of 
I, I will eat pies. Pie. Yeah, um, but, um, I will survive by Gloria Gaynor. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gloria, it's Gloria Gaynor. Yeah. It's one of those disco songs. The, the uh, singers are, songs are more famous than the singers. Um, I don't know this one. There is a house on New Orleans. That's the House of the Rising Sun, Rising Sun by the Animals. The Animals, yes. Um, question ten: You remind me of the Babe. What Babe? The Babe with the power. What power? What the the power? Is it you answering? Mm. What the power? By who? No. Uh, <laughs> what, it's another song called the Power. Uh, Pass. It, it, oh, oh, we should have known this one. Although I, I don't even know which era this is. It's called Magic Dance by David Bowie. I don't never know. heard of it. I've never heard of it. What's that one? Um, All the leaves are brown, the sky is grey. Oh, that's Hazy Shade of Winter. Oh. No, it's not. It's, it's California Dreaming. California Dreaming, yeah. By Mums and the Puppets. But there is. But someone else did a version of it. Um, Bangles. That's Hazy Shade of Winter, they did. <laughs> It's California Dream. Remember that was that um, River City people did California Dream. Oh, okay. Question thirteen: You were working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. Don't you want me? By that human league. league. Yeah. Um. You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. It's Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Um. Is it um? Staying alive. Staying alive? Um. Travelling in a fried-out combi on a hippie trail, head full of zombie. Seems familiar. Uh, I pressed. I pressed the results. And, yeah, it's come up. It's what's come up is down under by men at work. Um, yeah, bloody hell. The lyrics in that are weird, anyway. So that makes sense. They say, "Oh my God, I see the way you shine." Oh my god, I don't believe it. No, I want to be, it's not that one. <laughs> don't ring any bells. Does it take that? It could be Shine by Take That. It's not the word Shine. No, it's called Dance Monkey by Tones and I. All right. Do you, I don't think you don't know that. I don't know that. Um, I'm through with standing in the line to clubs. I'll never get in. Oh, we've gone, in, we've gone down a dark corner here. No, it doesn't ring a bell. I'm going to get. I'm going to reveal the answer. Uh, I don't think we'd want to admit to knowing this anyway. So I'll tell you. Mm. It's Rockstar by Nickelback. Not one of our favourites. So yeah, that was a hint. But um, I'm going. I'm going under, and this time I fear there's no one to save me. It doesn't make any bells. Uh, I think you might have mentioned. I've, I've got the answer. I think you might have mentioned him. But I wouldn't have known that song. Shall I tell you? It's someone Bowie again. No, it's someone you loved by Lewis Capaldi. Question nineteen: What would I do without your smart mouth? We aren't getting any of these later ones, are we? No, but I think we did quite well earlier. But what would I do without your smart mouth? No, uh, must be another modern one. It's all of me by John Legend. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know any John Legend song. White shirt now, red, my bloody nose. White shirt now, red, my bloody nose. Nope. Drake. Oh, no, it's Bad Guy by Billy Eilish. So I don't know any Billy Eilish songs other than that James Bond one, which I still can't, I can't, couldn't tell you a single note of. But. So no one told you life was going to be this way. That sounds familiar. But... Mm. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Um, oh yes, of course, it kind of is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just try and. <sighs> it's really famous. Um... <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll be there for you. The Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Yeah. Um, I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Seems like a very silly thing to do. Um, uh, I know, I know this song, but I obviously haven't been listening to the to the lyrics. It's "Raw" by Katy Perry. I like that song. 
Just a bit by K- Katie Bush. <laughs> <laughs> My key's gone cold. I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. I mean, it's a more rec- it's a more imaginative. This is something that might stand out, but I still uh, it just makes me wonder. It makes me think I probably don't know it. Um, oh, uh, well, I do know it, but I don't. Um, it's um, it's Stan by Eminem featuring Dido. Uh, no, I wouldn't have it. Yeah, I would have done twenty years ago, maybe. Um, story of my life, searching for the right. Doesn't really, I told you I'm no good at lyrics. Oh uh, no, you won't get this. It's unfaithful by Rihanna. I I like Rihanna, but I don't think I. It's all the oldie ones we're good at. Yeah. Um, and then, last one. There lived a certain man in Russia long ago. He was big and strong. In his eyes, a flaming cry. Oh, well, that's quite a very um, Putin, isn't it? Yes. You see, there's small ones there. It says, just Boney M and French. Majest- and Majestic. There must be some later version of it. But no, it's not Majestic. It's just Boney M. You fool. We need one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn, we get them. We hit a bad patch. We got out eleven, but um, there were some of them we just wouldn't have got because we didn't know the songs. Some of them we were like the. Um, I should have got the friends one for sure. We're back at the flat now. Mm. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that exercising proved to be so traumatic, but I had no idea there were vampires at the, at the gym. No, if you didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't know nothing. Uh, I'm a little amazed that they, they, they just traipse around in the open like that. Mm. How weird. Well, we thought that uh, the yoga vampires had gone away, but they obviously their plans have, have shifted. I, I don't know how I'm going to break it to Ick. Maybe I just won't mention it at the moment. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, he, he it, it was such a nice idea that Ark was going <laughs> to the gym. Hey, and Paul, everything. Paul, can I tell you something funny? Yeah. You know, these vampires of years, they've been around for quite a, quite a while now. You know, congratulations on this long running background story. Anyways, every time you say yoga vampire, Yoga vampires, you know what I th- what I think of are vampires eating yogurt, oh, well, not yoga. Do. Yeah, they probably do both. Oh, really? But, well, who knows? Yeah. You never look at a, a yoga pot again, will you? But uh, no. um, anyway, um, listeners, uh, I, I think it's probably time for us to say goodbye. We've had quite a busy day, and my Insta followers yeah. have just gone oh. skyrocketed. Yeah, because, seven, probably because of me. Probably because of me. More than I had. And, oh, that's uh, excellent. Oh, there's some comment. Just meant there's some comments on, on Instagram on that video we posted. Oh. Um, there's who's that guy in the background? Oh, yes, that's you, I think. Oh uh, well, um, the next anyway, one. The, the video says, "Why did you let the guy take over the video?" I'm, oh. I'm sorry. That's the, people oh. are rude. I'll, I'll what's explain. Wrong, what's wrong with people? Why don't I'm they just explain. go with it? Anyway, um, well, listeners, that's about all we've got time for. So uh, um, we will do more exercise in the future, and uh, oh, yeah. there'll be less vampires around. Yeah, uh, Paul's listeners, just let me tell you, we're, I'm serious about this. We're going to drill down on Paul more next time yeah. when there's no pesky vampires no. that eat no. yogurt. No, absolutely. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, thanks for listening, and we'll be back soon. And, uh, yeah, goodbye for now. My, my fingers still smell like garlic. How do I wash this don't out? Wash your hands. Don't wash your hands. We've got something right. in the bathroom. Okay. Bye okay. for now, listeners. Bye-bye. Hello. 
Hi, uh, Toppy, it's me. Uh, it's me, Paul the Shayetti. How are you doing? Paul, oh, well, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I've just got some news for you. I've got some news to share with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? You just ran a mile? No. I, well, I, I walked five paces across to the station and got a local paper. Um, okay, good, good. That's just Yeah, but there's news about the... the it says um, local gym closed due to Dalek incident. Oh, um, Oh, the yogurt eating va- vampires? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, yes. obviously, the, the newspaper doesn't refer to the vampires, but oh. uh, um, it, it shows that sticking garlic into the ventilation shafts oh. did actually oh. drive them away. Oh, God. Um, it worked. It worked. That was worth I mean, it then. The gym, Ew, it my fingers the, still smell like garlic, Paul. Yeah, it does say the gym were open for another four months because of all the damage, but so. Don't, don't tell anyone we did that. But, oh, uh, Jesus, don't, sorry about listeners, that. Listeners, please don't tell anybody. But we, we got rid of the vampires. I mean, we didn't get rid, well, they've gone somewhere else, which yeah. isn't a policy that we approve of because we, but we're not really up to the vampire slaying side of the whole business. Well, you know, actually, sometimes, Paul, that's the best you can do is make them go someplace else. Yeah, we're hoping to refine or because it's, you don't know how difficult it is to find a good vampire slayer in the yellow pages. It, it's much more complicated than you'd imagine. But uh, um, we've, we've, well, anyway, um, it's something that we'll come back to a bit yeah. like exercise, I suppose. We'll, we'll, well I, I would hope so. I would hope so. I would hope that next time uh, we don't have silly things going on and that you really do exercise. Yeah. Yeah, we will. And um, anyway, oh, I can hear the theme music coming. So, uh, oh, um, I better say goodbye. So, um, th- th- thanks again. I'm sorry. At least nobody got bitten anyway. So. Okay. All right. Uh, bye for now. Bye. Toppy, you still there? Yeah, I, th- I thought you were going to end. I was still. Did we- I thought we reached the end? Well, well, I thought we'd reached the end on this occasion, but uh, apparently the call didn't end. Um, oh. Uh, I'm sure it'll end in a minute. No, no, yeah. Okay, Paul, I'm not going to stay with you when you stop and start, stop and start like you always what? do. Can I go now? You can go, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know. Maybe the, the listeners are still hanging around out there. Yeah, uh, well. Hi, hi listeners. It's, or it could be the new Insta followers. Maybe, Insta. maybe. But I'd re- I really need to go, so. Okay. Right, no, go, right, bye, go, bye, go. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Uh, uh, hi, Insta followers. Um, it's me, Paul the Shagati. I just wanted to say hi. Uh, thanks for following. And, uh, we, we, you know, it's, it's very inspiring um, to, to have you follow my progress at the gym. And, uh, um, <laughs> Toppy, are you still there? I thought you were going to end. No, well, you said I you, distinctly uh, heard the ending music at some point. You Where's just that said, little girl that says that? That she's not so little now. She's about sixteen. But there we go. Um, when I hear that, I usually know it's going to be the end. Yeah, I but, gotta go. Well, no, that's what I thought. You, I thought you had gone, but I was going. I was still here, so I just right. thought I'd say hi to you. I got it. Right, goodbye. Right. Thank you. There's the little girl. Now I know I'm gone. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. This show is part of the Pride 48 Network. Find more shows over at pride48.com. Oh, dear. <laughs> What's going on now? Oh, it's the Shy Life Podcast. Let's go. I have a voice. I have a voice. You have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. We have a voice. Unique voices in podcasting. Univospods.net. Hello. Uh, hello, it's me, Cromity. How are you? Hey, Cromity. What's going on? I've got Yeti Uncle John here. Oh. Uh, hello, uh, hello, it's me, Yeti Uncle John. I just wanted to say uh, uh, thank you for all you did the other day with Paul and uh, 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 unfortunate about the whole vampire situation. Well, I'll say, uh, never met uh, yogurt-eating vampires before, 
Uh, anyways, uh, yet English John, it was some. It was some. Yeah. And uh, you would you tell tell Paul my fingers still smell like garlic. But anyways, oh. I was I was glad I could help to the extent that I helped. I didn't know okay. that in addition to being Paul's fitness guru, that I would act also be a vampire vanquisher. Well, yeah, I mean, you didn't actually vanquish them, but yes, I know what you mean. You helped. You helped. You, uh, you know what I mean. Yes, yes, uh, yes Uncle John, don't uh, don't be pedantic. We appreciate your help, Toppy, and. Uh, Yes, gosh. Um, hopefully, they won't come back again because that's very, uh, very um, d- d- disturbing to, <laughs> to know that they were there. And yeah, well, and, I mean, I, I, we have not discussed it with Ick because, um, well, it would alarm him, and well, there's no reason. I mean, the the the, the gym will be closed now for seven months. So, um, yeah. But uh, anyway, well, yes. Well, that, that was unfortunate, but uh, I mean, it has to be done. Uh, the, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. we, we must uh, we must uh, get rid of those those, those fiends. Uh, they are yeah. fiendish. Now, uh, listen, guys. If I know Paul, he's going to have these vampires back sometime. Anyways, I'm glad it's not my problem. Oh yes, well, you know, it uh, it is. You have enough going on with giant hamsters, gerbils, sorry, and uh, and all the other things that happen. So we, you know, each to our own. We all have our uh, our calamities, but uh, a cal- yeah. calamity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, well, I suppose I, I suppose that uh, um, we, we should. Go. Oh, I think I can hear the theme music coming, so it's it's time to go. I suppose. Oh my God! You tricked me into doing another ending. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, I'm going to uh, kill him. I, oh, no, 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 calm down, oh. Toppy. Please, please. To, How many down, endings does he have anyway? Oh, dear, dear. Am I ever going to get off this show? Oh, no, no, Toppy, no, you're not. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, kitty, kitty, dee. Pepper, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, I love dee dee. I guess I'm supposed to say uh-huh. good luck oh. or something. So, oh. uh, uh, good luck. Thank you. Whatever that means. Uh-huh. Yes. Thank you, Ick. What a day this oh, must well, be for you. You know it, Yeti Uncle John. You know it. It's a shame you didn't ask me for advice about riding those contraptions. I didn't know you had experience. Yes, I'm quite an expert oh, on them. I did not know that. Oh, well, maybe next time then. Okay, baby. <laughs> yes. Yes, well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Yeti Uncle John. Thank you. Don't expect you'll win, but <laughs> what? give me the old college try anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> okay, I will. College try. <laughs> Toppy, look here, old man. Oh, what? What you got there, Cromedy? I made something for you. Oh. An elixir from my laboratory. Oh, an elixir? Yes, full of good things for you. Oh, it's it's so nice. It's it's so nice and green. <laughs> but don't be so paranoid and drink it. <laughs> but Cromedy, what's in it? Electrolytes, special hydrators, uh-huh. complex compounds. Oh. Plus special proteins. Proteins. Of my own creation. Oh. And, and, a, and a little Kool-Aid cool. powder for the flavor. Oh, flavor. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh it's safe. Don't worry so much. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and sugar for energy. Uh, lots and lots of sugar for uh, you because you are fat and uh, I know you like it. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, keep, uh, keep it on you. Uh, You'll need it. Okay. Zip often. Well, okay. Don't lose it in the fray. Oh, of no, course. No, no, no. Rem- remember to shake first. Oh. If you don't, it'll be all coagulated and, yeah. and you don't want that. Oh, uh, no, I don't. Yes, uh, shake before sipping. Okay. That's it. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Okay, thank you, Cramedy. <laughs> Toppy, I will paint a portrait for you at the finish line. Oh, oh, August, that's a sweet idea. Thank you. Where are Walter and Jose? I I want to say hello to my dear old friends. Oh, of course. They'll want to say hi to you too, August. Now, see right down there? That's Jose and Walt's burrito cart. That's where they are. Oh, thank you, Toppy. Well, I hope you distinguish yourself in competition. Oh. The athletic <laughs> arts are a noble pursuit. Oh, Go yes, forth yes. forth and bounce. Okay, thank you. Thank you, August, so much. Thank you. Is Tappy here? Oh, no, Bettina, I'm sorry. I did everything I could to get Aunt Tappy here, but she oh, refused. What a shame. I was afraid of that. Yeah. Well, you mustn't worry about all that. You have a race to win, darling. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> have at it. Yes, I will. I will have at it. And make it a win for our dear Tappy. <laughs> yes, I will. I will, I promise. Do your best, dear. Yes. That's all we can expect yes, of you. Yes, I will. I will. I'll do my best. Well, of course we fully expect you to lose. <laughs> what? Not to worry. It's the effort that counts. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Off with you now. See you at the end. Yes, Bettina, see you at the end. We'll all be over there. Cheer you on. Paul, thank you. See you at the end. 
Remember, darling, this is for your dear Tappy. Yes. A million kisses for you. Oh. A million and one kisses. Oh, thank Ta-da, you. Ta-da, oh, dear. thank you. <laughs> Knock them dead, as you Americans say. Yes. Kill them all. Thank you, Petita. Oh, my. It's so exciting. Oh, yes. Death of the infidels. Remember yes. the Alamo. All right. Oh, yes. yes, Petina. Thank you. I'm off. I'm, I'm headed to the finish. I mean, the starting line. <laughs> oh, poor dear. Oh, bless him. Just the weirdest thing I've ever heard. What the hell just happened on this show? I mean, seriously, reverse it, because I lost... What the... What's going on? What happened? 558. Hello, uh, uh, Toppy, is that you there? Uh, uh, wait a minute, I answer the phone, I say hello first, okay, Kramity? 